How are we doing today? Uh, let's take a little bit, look back at some of the Doug's Dirt Diary archive. This was back in July 17th of 2017, six years after I drove the tired iron sob to a feature win at the Brewerton Speedway. On this day, we visited car owners Claude and Carol Hutchings at Tired Iron Sob. That is their business, and uh, you can see all the sobs that they had behind the place. But um, this was fun. Got to go out and see the race car, bring my family with me, and check out the other thing that they had in the property that was a lot of fun as well. Big thanks, like we said, to Claude and Carol, and of course, Claude Jr. and Stephen Denton, who gave me some advice that night that directly led to my feature win. And of course, we want to thank Rudy Plumbing. For those of you guys in the central New York area, they don't go out as far as Sequoia, but uh, whether it's a problem, uh, some kind of backup or something between you and the road, uh, whether it's just as simple as a faucet or maybe one of those 2 a.m. in the morning uh, emergencies, Rudy Plumbing, 31 and 57 across from Moyer Corners, give them a call. Beautiful day, as you can tell, when we were out there, of course, our first stop after we looked around was to go see the car. There it is, Saab 900. And uh, I got to tell you, this thing was a fast race car, American racer, racing tires on it. Uh, this thing was uh, a joy to drive. Claude was nice enough to move some of the controls around on the inside. Um, I got a tall torso. I learned that when I went to get a driver's suit. So he moved the seat down, did some things, moved the shifter, uh, changed the angle of the steering wheel to get me comfortable in the car. And that's what it looked like uh, on the inside right there. We'll show you another angle where I can run down uh, everything associated with it. One of the things I wanted to point out before we go to the next slide, though, that a lot of a lot of things happen in a race car that people like. This is one of them right here. This is an air helmet. You see the hose right there that goes right into the helmet, and it doesn't give you cool air, but it gives you air on your face. And for somebody claustrophobic like me, it really made a big difference in helping to get me comfortable in the car. Here's another look at it. Again, you can see where the air helmet is there in the back, the unit for the air helmet. There's the shifter right there. I love the cage. I always felt super safe uh, in this race car. There's the standard shift. You see the clutch, the brake, and of course the gas pedal right down here. Tachometer is up here. That is the brake bias adjuster. I thought about trying it a couple of times, but I could never remember And anybody who's driven a car with a brake bias adjuster. Basically, you can dial more front brake in the car. Like, let's say the car is really loose. So going in, you can dial some front brake. It'll help it to push a little bit more. And the opposite is true as well. Um, so you can address that brake bias adjuster right there. And if the car is too tight, you can put a little rear brake in it and it'll kind of make it, you know, almost skid a little bit with the rear tires, almost like you're drifting and it will help you to go in the corner. But again, I can never remember which way to go with it so i never bothered to uh to try that there of course are the wind stickers only some of them as a matter of fact but one of those is mine so uh it's nice to know that it's still on the car here's a better look uh, inside the cockpit here here down here is where the air helmet controls are right there there's a high and low switch on that right there this is the on off switch the ignition right here so i love the old switches like the old world war ii planes you flip that up you flip it up like that you put push the switch up and then you hit this button right there and just like the button in your car, if you have a key fob, that's what actually gets it going. And the nice thing, when you shut it off, you just reach right out and you flip that down. You kind of feel real cool, like you're, like you're the coolest guy around doing that. And, and I sure did <laughs> in that season. Here's a look at the front of the car. And this right here, I hate to say it, that is my responsibility right there. It was the very first race uh, in the car. They had given me a, a trial run the year before, but this was the first race in 2011 and there was a, an incident in front of me a couple of cars got together and i just got off the gas kind of figured okay great i'll just wait for them to separate drive right in there well the guy behind me didn't <laughs> didn't see it and i got pushed on into it got the radiator support too by the way so claude had to do some welding had to fix that up so sorry claude i messed up your race car so uh but we did end up winning a little bit later and of course people love to hang the bodies on the side of the garage they look great you know and that way you can remember everything and of course this is the dirt car. There is no windshield. So you have this screen right here. Um, so basically anything that's big, big chunk of uh, clay or something like that comes in the car, um, it will prevent it from doing so. And if it did get it real hard, the screen is easy enough to replace. So after we got done, you know, looking at the race car and sharing some stories, we got a chance to go out to the pond in the backyard. And this is a stocked pond. He's got a, a windmill set up in there that circulates the water. It's very, very cool, by the way. And we had a chance to go and, and do that. And this is the view off the other side. See what I mean about Sukhoi? It is beautiful country out there. 
Now, of course, Katie, her first time fishing, she caught a nice little bass, her first time out, little jointed Rapala right there. And there you can see the, the windmill kind of in the back as well that, that keeps the water going. So we had a chance to, to do some fishing and have a little bit of fun. Allie had a chance to get in there as well. Uh, she, of course, has never fished with worms. Come on, fishing with worms doesn't count. And here's one of the nice smallmouth bass that she caught right there. And by the way, that is the way to to pick up a smallmouth bass, put your thumb right in there. They don't have any teeth, so they're not going to be able to get you. So here's another one that she caught right here. And uh, we had a lot of fun on that day. But as anybody knows who's fished a stocked pond, every now and then you got to take a little break because what happens is after you catch so many fish, you know, the other fish kind of realize that something's going on and they go to the bottom and they get dormant for a little while. But talk about a, a serene scene right there. I mean, I could just feel my blood pressure going down even looking at this right now and a little bit later of course we had a chance to go back and catch some more fish it was a wonderful day and uh this one here Allie needed a little help with some of the catfish in there were pretty big so again thanks to all you guys make sure to turn on your notifications um uh, subscribe all that good stuff there's a um support me button at the bottom there uh, of course if you want to help us out uh, paypal.me slash Doug Elkins Racing. And again, you get an emergency or you need something done, you're in central New York. You, you, uh, my dad always told me there's three people you need to know. Okay, you need to know a mechanic, a butcher, and a plumber. And the thing is with you guys racing, you already know a plumber. It's Earl Rudy, so make sure to check them out at Rudy Plumbing. Hope you guys like this. We're going to be going through the archives a lot. we got some ISPA MSS stuff coming up over the next uh, couple of weeks here. So, hey, we're having fun, and uh, it's going to be a good time. we got the ESS Banquet coming up uh, on the 11th, and then, of course, the 17th and 18th is the Northeast Racers Auction and Trade Show at the Expo Center at the New York State Fairgrounds. We will be there, and, uh, man, we're having fun, and... Uh, Man, can't wait to get back and get this snow out of here and we can all get back to the races.